percent, then you are correct because the water is flowing parallel to our normal line. Hello everybody, my name is Professor Sabrina Berry from Berry Science Lab and today we are going to be looking at magnetic flux. So what is magnetic flux? First, we have to look at the formula. So what is the formula for magnetic flux? Well, let's write it. So the formula for magnetic flux, whose symbol is this Greek looking letter. So. This is magnetic flux to our magnetic field, which is a vector, and that's gonna be times our area, the area of the magnetic field, perpendicular to this. So, how can we rewrite this equation? Well, we can rewrite it as the magnetic field times A times cosine theta. Why cosine theta? Well, I'll show you with our diagram. Let's explain what flux is. Now, this is flux. And I'm sorry, but if this does not look like this, then you are an idiot. You might be asking, why do I have flux? Am I going to hold tea? No. Am I going to hold coffee in here? No. I'm going to measure how much magnetic field can go through this hole. And the flux was Faraday's idea. All right, now let's explain these things from top to bottom. First, let's look at area. What is the area? Well, it's the area of this entire hole right over here, which is pi r squared. Pi r squared, you see that folks? This entire area is pi r squared. All right, so now that the area is done, what makes the perpendicular line so special? Well, this is actually the normal line, and as expected by the name, the normal means it's actually perpendicular to our little circle. So it goes like this, like just like that. See, folks? That is the normal line. So now, what is the magnetic field? That's our final thing. So this is our magnetic field, or at least what's being used to represent it. And now, let's say it goes this direction, parallel to our little normal line. Then what happens? Well, that means we have cosine zero. Why? Because we can also represent this with B, a cosine theta. And theta over here is the degree between this and this. So if they're parallel, the degree is zero, which means max 100% magnetic flux. Why? Well, you know cosine zero is one, and one is standard for 100%. So you can do the math. Order the magnetic field. So, how much water is going through our flux? If you're saying 100%, then you are correct because the water is flowing parallel to our normal line. Now, let's say you have something like this that's about 45 degrees to the thing. Then, we get cosine 45, which means that about half will flow through. Water over here is now flowing 45 degrees with respect to our normal line. So that means that only about half of the water goes through. And then let's say it's coming from here. Let's say you're pouring water like this. Then nothing is gonna come through, right? Because it's going a different way. It's supposed to be going at least some quantity of down, but it's just flying past. So here, the water is flowing perpendicularly to our normal line. So that means that the water is completely passing the flux and 0% of the water is going into the flux. So that means that the magnetic flux is zero. Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.